Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira, and today we're playing Red Dead Redemption. And we've done some stuff in the past, and we have found out about John's history, and we've gotten this sort of weird-looking outfit with an eye patch. Oh, and we now have a new bounty opportunity. But today, we are going to start by going here to this. And we're going to see what's going on in the barn with the horse that's kicking people. I wonder if I can lasso it from here. Like, that horse looks very unhappy. A tempest looms. Oh, dear. Oh, no, it's raining in the desert. Get him in there! Come on! Come on! Hey, miss! Hey, miss! I got most of the horses secure, and the chicken. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know, they're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice, then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. Okay, so uh, we're going to go do some herding out in the middle of the desert in the rain. The... That sky don't look good. I'm nope. starting to think somebody up there is conspiring against me. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a-calling. But nobody made my path for me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books, others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. Past is who we are, Miss McFarland. There ain't no changing that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. I'm going to save my voice for the herd. It's going to be hard shouting over this storm. Okay. Uh, so what? Do we assume the position now? Is that, is that what happens? Whoa! Slow down! Careful. You can't afford to fall. Drive them I won't the fall. By the old oak tree. We'll merge them with the other herd there. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. They're going in the right direction for the most part. The weather changes fast out here. This storm came out of nowhere. Oh no, a cow is a straggler. Get back over there, cow. Okay. Good. Good, so we're turning we're returning the cows back to their proper place. Ah. I wonder if I should just like shoot one of them or something. Maybe that would teach the others. You know? Put a couple bullets in some cows, pretty soon all of them listen pretty well. I don't think that would work. I think that would just make them all run in different directions. Uh-oh. We're gonna miss the mark. Get over there. And now they're all going in the wrong direction. Stampede in the gorge! Of course, they're running for a cliff. How do I stop them? Move in front. Oh, okay. Yup. Alright. Good. Good. No. Stop, cow. Stop, cow. Please. Uh-oh. That one's determined. Come on, get out of here. 
Get out of here. Slow down. Go away. Get back. Get back in the right direction. Come on. Well, where do you think you're going? You're not even running. You're just kind of wandering. What is going on here? Let's go. Okay. We got him. And... One more. 21 out of 21. Okay. So now we can return to Bonnie. Good work. Now let's round up those stragglers. Alright. Come on. Come on. I am not. I am in perfect Easy. control. Come on. Let's go, cow. Okay. So if we just force the herd back this way. I think it'll be going in the right direction, and we can catch up with that straggler, too. Yeah. Just like that. And he's moving back to the herd. Now we can move the herd back to the ranch. I suppose these herding missions aren't that bad compared to what they could be. Where are you guys going? No, no, no. Head back over there. <laughs> How far do we even have to go? Let's, let's check the map. Ooh, that is a long way. Well, maybe. Yeah, that's sort of a long way. We can see the ranch in the distance, though. Supposed to, like, sweep behind them. Slowly. And that's supposed to keep them going in the right direction. Oop. Who's that? See one of mine? Or is he some random person who's going to steal my cattle? Should I have my gun ready? Probably shouldn't drive the horses on the tracks. Just in case, you know. We wouldn't want a train to come by and <laughs> take out like two-thirds of the herd at once. <laughs> I'm not waiting for anything. Well, except for the cows to go in the right direction. No, you get back in there. Okay. So we got the cows. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? You saved the herd back there. You might make a decent rancher one day. Thank you, Miss McFarland. Cows herded plus 21. Ah, oh, I gain honor from herding cattle? Okay. That's good. I suppose. Come on, jump the fence, horsey. Do we want to... Let's, let's continue with Bonnie's missions. What are we going to do now, Bonnie? The burning. Oh, dear. What are we burning? Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on. Let's go look for him. Okay. Let's head out. He couldn't have gotten far. Uh, he could have gotten far. Need Bonnie yeah. to the ranch's outskirts. I feel like I feel like we're gonna need a weapon here. I feel like it's not gonna be a nice, peaceful ride. I've got a bad feeling about this. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry. Got a bad we'll feeling about he's this. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? 
father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe. <laughs> like oh, a sore toe. I think toe. I see someone. Where? I don't... Oh, I do see something. I see a hey, horse. Daddy! What happened? Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. Now you head back to the ranch right now. Fetch your wagon. Yes, sir. Martian, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Stay with me. I've got a bad feeling about this. Come on. You already said that. What could that. have happened to those poor men? And their horses were dead, too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your pa seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Those damn rustlers! I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good <laughs> idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize The outlaw with the code? How wonderfully romantic. The reluctant murderer. The noble criminal. There's nothing more depressing than a man who's found a way to think the... Look, Mr. Marston! The barn is on fire! Oh... I knew this wasn't good. Climb the awning. I'll get in there. Oh, I can climb up here. Yes, perfect. I knew there was a reason for. Oh crap! And I'm down on the ground again. <laughs> Come on, climb up, Marston. Jump up there. You can do it. I have faith. Maybe that's the problem. I shouldn't have faith in you. We need Ezio right now. Ezio would know what to do. He'd already be up that barn. He'd just climb up the front of it. Bust in through a window. Okay. So, what are we going to do once we get in the barn? Are we just going to... I don't know. Put, put the fire out somehow? Climb down to the ground floor. Ooh, I can slide down the ladder. It's just gonna jump, and we will open. Ooh, this was intentional. Well done. Now let's save the horses. Okay, guess she's not saving the horses. Slap horse. Okay. <laughs> That's one thing I never thought I'd be asked to do in a video game. Yeah, your mission today is to go slap some horses. Okay. We can jump this fire. Go, Sea Biscuit! <laughs> uh. I just ran someone over. Where's Bonnie? They told me to go over by her, but you I don't sure see her. You sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, oh, there Marcus. she is. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, wh hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, 
did all I could, Miss McFarland. What about her father? Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. I feel like we're going to have to go shoot some outlaws soon. Okay, uh, so we have some new stuff on the map. Or, or maybe it's not new, maybe I just have been ignoring it and it's finally the only thing available. What do we have over here? We have water and honesty, and we have another quest over there. So, what should I do? I should, I think I should go over here, and I should, like, try and take a look at this stuff. Or, or we haven't gone, I don't think we've gone to either of those places. So, maybe we should go to that place. In this place, we'll we'll do something like that. Yeah, I think we'll start by following the road over to here. See what we can get ourselves into. First, that we're gonna save the game because yeah, because that's a smart thing to do. Why is my door closed? I always leave my door open. Let's the fresh air in, you know? We wouldn't want it to get stuffy in this random shed that sort of has a bed in it. Alright, save the game. And... Spoiled... Spoiled bandits or something. I'm gonna actually go here again. Because I want it to be daytime. So, we'll use this, and I don't think we have to save. I think we just have to, yeah, just have to sit in the bed a couple times, and magically six hours goes by, or something like that. Yeah, so now it's nice and light out, and we can mount our trusty horse, and we can head off. Ooh, should I steal that? No, I'm not going to steal a wagon. I'll be good today, for now. We'll just head off to whatever this place is. Take a nice, wonderful ride through the country. What are you doing? Howdy! Just get off your horse and... What are you doing? Oh. Huh. Yeah. Just kind of going to let it hang. I understand. Let's just move on. Oh. Looks like we're getting into a swamp or something. Uh, we got a guy here. Howdy, mister. What's up with you and your swamp hut? What you searching for, partner? I've been gathering some flowers for my wife. She's waiting for me back in the cabin. That's very sweet of you. And we've been together 50 years now, me and my darling Annabelle. She's always loved these, these wild fever few that uh, grow around this place. You know. 
Well, she's, she's getting on now in years, and she, it's hard for her to get up and about. So I, I want to I wanna bring her a lovely bouquet for her anniversary. Well, I've seen quite a few flowers in my travels, if you'd like to help. Oh, yeah. Listen, these old fingers ain't what they used to be. Yeah, I'd love it. Sure, bring me, bring me any pretty ones you find, huh? Okay, so... I'm not gonna go gathering some flowers right now. Let's go and... continue on our way to... this town or settlement or whatever it is. I wonder if it m marked the map with the flower things. No, no it didn't. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's go. I should have checked how close we were to the town. What's the sign Ooh. say? Thieves Landing. Okay. It's getting kind of dark and gloomy. Alright, so we're in Thieves Landing. Wonder what they got here. We got a duel. You want a duel, man? Get in close, you coward. Let's duel. Let's do this. We got it. Her, Charlie Mash. First John Marston. I still don't know how to duel, but we got it. I'm going to try and shoot the pistol out of his hand this time and actually shoot his hat off. All right. Uh... Uh-oh, I think I got his head there. I did get it. I got his hat, but I also sort of got his head. I got his arm, too. How do you do? What have you got for me? Well, that wasn't quite as epic as I had hoped. I, I was hoping that maybe we could just, you know, walk in and, uh... You know, um, <laughs> not kill him. Like, just disarm him. We have a tailor. What's the tailor? We have a tailor and a gunsmith. Let's go and take a look around. Let's let's see what's at this tailor and what's at the gunsmith. This place looks kind of sketchy. Liar's dice. What is liar's dice? Let's see. So the Thieves Landing Saloon, we got some dice and some poker, and there's blackjack. Okay. So, is this tailor just going to act as a general store? Just go for the elegant suit, it will allow you to cheat at poker. Huh. Okay. Is there, is there anyone in here? Hello? Hello? I want to buy some stuff. Can I help you? Okay, so we get a doctor. So... Maybe it's just too late in the day for the tailor. Maybe they closed. What's going on at the gunsmith here? A Springfield rifle. And a sawed-off shotgun. Okay. So, what is this Springfield rifle? Indian War era military, powerful and accurate, but slow to fire and only holds a few bullets. So I want this. Hmm. Hmm. So the Rhodes Gold sells for a hundred. 
Uh, the Lord moves I, reckon he went down I, I don't want to sell it. Gold bullion. <laughs> I don't I don't want to sell this, but I want this rifle. Thank you. All right, so we'll be back for this rifle because I want to keep that gold. I should probably uh, take a look and see if it's something that is like a unique item or whatever. Because if it's a unique item, I do not want to sell it. What about you? Are you going to duel me? Maybe he'll duel me and we can make some more money. Anyone want to duel? If I push a lady in the street, are they going to duel me now? No? He doesn't want to duel. What about you guys? Anyone over here want to duel? I'm so sorry, sir. Not really. Come here. Who said that to me? Let's not get any hair in the butter. Get out of my way. I don't like you. Don't push me. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, I probably shouldn't antagonize, antagonize these guys. I don't want, like, the whole town to turn up and start shooting me. That would not be good. So... Hmm, what is this town? Let's... Let's... Oop, can I... Can I not go there? Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't look as though I can cross this river yet. Yeah. Oh, there's something over here, like up in the mountains. Huh. Alright, so I can't cross the river. Ooh. I bet that is the the gang place that we visited in the first episode. I bet it is. Okay, can I go? Can I go down here? No, I can't go down there either. So Thieves Landing looks like it's as far as I can go. Um Oh, someone's in need. I hear screaming. Maybe if I save a person in need. Oh, no one kidnaps her. Where are you going? Oh, I can't. Okay. Ha ha! There we go. I got him. Okay, so I want to cut her free and save the woman. Anyone else would have done the same. No, no, they wouldn't have. Five dollars that that's it? Alright, what about him? Can I do anything with him now? Can I go turn him into the warden for some money? Warden, the marshal? No. You know what? I don't want to deal with this guy, so let's just kind of throw him in the water. Oh, I can't throw him in the water. Hmm. Tricky. All right, let's just walk in until I swim. Oh, dear. Can Marston not swim? Is, is that what's is that what's going on? Can we not swim here? <laughs> I thought that rule didn't exist anymore. Okay, well, I got five dollars. Oh, and I'm way back here. Hmm. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to ride into the wagon. No, we're going to ride back out to the Thieves' Landing. I wonder if we've still discovered it. Flowers for a lady. So we've we have in fact still discovered it. So we can go through and look for various aminals out here to 
maim and steal the skin from, and we will be able to buy that rifle when we go back to Thieves Landing. Like, there's a horse over there we can... Oh, there's like outlaws or something over there. What's going on here? Why are you guys running? They're on the road. I think I lost... Them. Nope, they're right here. Are you shooting at me? Oh, he's shooting at the deer. There you go. Not when I steal the skin from the deer. It's my deer now. Hope he doesn't start shooting me as soon as I, like, get up here. Okay, so I should mark Thieves Landing, so I'm at least heading in the correct direction here. We wouldn't want to go off hunting and wind up, you know, somewhere that's nowhere near where I'm actually trying to go. So I need to scout, like, off in the distance here for things to shoot. some flowers. Let's pick these flowers. Maybe I can sell these flowers, too. I need some deer or something. Deer, coyotes, wolves, people, something that I can hunt. Ooh, maybe I can hunt some gator. Wonder if there's even gonna be gator out in the swamp. A rabbit. Easy. Gotcha. Where is the rabbit? There it is. Alright, so I've got like five dollars worth of stuff. How much do I need? Oh, I need so much. We're gonna get that rifle today, though. I know it. This looks like a rather sketchy place to be. Like, this has ambush written all over it. Another person riding fever feverishly through the woods. Go. Did I startle something? <laughs> One-handed just turned around and popped the rabbit. Last still. <laughs> okay. What do we have now? I wish I, like, actually knew how much this stuff was worth. It's not worth that much. Hey. You guys are sketchy. What you doing? This is like the, the crossroads right here. So many people randomly riding through the wilderness. They're all bumping into one another. Let's go. <laughs> oh. I could really use a ride. there. Oh. Oh yeah. Not bad. Bad choice. More than you now. Some pistol ammo. No money for me. Come on. 
steal my horse and all he has is a little bit of ammo? That's kind of ridiculous. Oh, okay. It's gonna be something to hunt out here. Maybe. Maybe not. Wow, this horse Skyrim's up mountains better than Skyrim horses do. Okay, so we're at Thieves Landing again, and I still don't have the required money. So, maybe we can find someone who wants to duel? Anyone want to duel? What's this? Just some barns and such. I do beg your pardon. Probably shouldn't have this many horses on a bridge at the same time. Someone's gonna want to fight. Maybe I can just kind of nudge this guy with my horse. Oh, he hit his head. Yeah, I want to fight. I want your money. My horse just jumped right into that post. <laughs> um, what do I want? I want to go to the gunsmith shop. Hey there. Alright, let's talk. And we will... Uh, uh, I don't really have... I'm close. Anything Earth. else today? I only need forty dollars. I wonder if I could let's just take a little walk out here. Let's see if there's anything right outside that I can go shoot. The sketchy back country. Just try not to try not to get in the water there. I don't know if the water is what killed me or if it was because I was carrying somebody into the water. It's probably just the water. There's just water everywhere, isn't there? any wildlife. Ah, I'm back in town already. Oop, oop, there's some more water. Let's not, like, yeah. just walk into it. Oops. Ooh, I just flattened oh, him. Yeah. Come on, somebody's gotta wanna, like, duel with me. Oop, he looks angry. He must need a Snickers. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, they're running away now. I guess no one's gonna want to fight me and whatever, and there's no way I can just magically get some money, so I guess we'll end it right here, and I will find some cash. Ooh, slide down my mountain. Slide down the mountain. Come on, Skyrim your way up the mountain. You can do it. I have faith in you. 
You can do it. Go up there, horsey. Or not. Right here. Try here. No. Okay. I guess, I guess he's not going to Skyrim his way up there. I tried. Uh, so yeah, I will. we will end the episode here. And next time when we come back, I will get that rifle. And then from there, we'll probably continue with our quest with the marshal, I guess. Marshal's probably about as good a place to start as ever. And, yeah. See what happens further in the story. Thank you all so much for watching. My name's Zira. This is the Nocturnal Gaming Network, bringing you Red Dead Redemption. Have yourself a wonderful night.